corporate media is extremely difficult to fight. Why? I don't know. It's complicated. It's hard to fight the way things have always been done. A few big men upstairs control everything that comes out of our TVs and radios, and they would love to have more say in what you can get on the internet, too. What's that? What can you do about this huge issue so far above you? Why, my dear citizen, there is so much you can do. Here are three simple steps to get you started. Step one, consume what you want. Choose the media you consume consciously. Vote with your eyes and ears. Remember that independent media is out there. Zines, low-powered FM radio, blogs, community newsletters, local cinema. Supporting indie media helps diverse viewpoints thrive. Step two, create. Spread the word. Issues don't go anywhere if no one knows about them. Youth interact with media constantly. We have the power to push boundaries and set trends. We are creating the next generation of media. Tweet your values, make a blog, find your style. In December of 2010, the FCC passed a law that separated the once equal rights of cell phones and computer internet regulations. Make your voice heard. Step three, connect. Connect to the people. We're all one big locomotive engine that runs on steamed individuals. And the more we connect, the better our engine runs, and the more change we can make. Build community around media justice issues that matter to you by getting the word out. Contact your representative. Just a quick email with your name, a specific media issue, and how you feel on the topic is all it takes. Talk to strangers at a bus stop. Media justice. What? Exactly. Host a media reform house party. The way things are always done is a myth, and reality is not constant. Become an ant in the pants of corporate media. Consume, create, connect. The power is yours.